Welcome back, Joyce. We're a couple days out from Halloween. It might even be Halloween when this video comes out. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this. But in today's video, we're going to have a little market update. We're going to talk about a lot of the things that have been happening. we got a lot of topics to cover today. we got scams going on left and right. We've got NFT in New York City. Some crazy meetup event for NFT people. We're going to go over my strategy to make sure you're actually making money in this NFT market rather than getting fucked over. I'm going to show you guys a project I stumbled upon while actually doing research for this video by accident. I'm going to touch on Bear X to Divine Anarchy and Project Draco. And at the end of this video, I'm going to go over five projects that you probably haven't heard of that I'm holding for the long haul. So if that sounds exciting to you, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed um, with your post notifications on because if you're not, you're going to miss some videos. And some of these videos are ultra time sensitive. Now let's get into it. All right, guys, so we are having a just, it is just a free for all. Anyone who can hack is hacking. It's literally insane. So just, just a couple hours ago, Kaiju Kings, I guess one of the people in their discord got hacked or something. And he popped into the space Apes discord and said, Hey guys, there's a uh, thousand extras Kaiju for 0.15 ETH. Um, and obviously I put in the, the discord do not this is a fucking scam It's so painfully obvious, but apparently a ton of people lost money. I think over a hundred thousand dollars has already been liquidated. I mean, just you, you've got to think, man, if you're in this fucking industry, you've got to use your brain. If something like this happens and it sounds way too good to be true, you need to make sure you're actually looking at everything, all the details, making sure they're Twitter, asking people in the NFT space, make sure this is real because something like this sounds like bullshit and it is. So yeah, Kaiju Kings made an official statement and said team members discord has been compromised. We didn't have anything here, but they still lost a lot of money, which sucks. Bear X, a project that you guys are just fucking everyone wants me to cover this project there's literally nothing to cover i can't even make a video on this project because there's nothing there's no website there's no nothing there's just a discord and a bunch of fucking shills for campaigns for whitelist but yeah their project got hacked it was a they've got a huge community of people listen to me followers they have they are at twenty five thousand followers i think their discord is like way way more than that so yeah literally their entire discord got hacked like everything everything with barracks got hacked and literally they made announcements whoever hacked it was making announcements saying mint is early blah 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 they lost so much so many people lost money during this and honestly th this example here this is not really anyone's fault if you fell for this i could totally see it for me i'm so aware of what's going on when i saw this shit i was like nah that's that's completely unwarranted. It was out of nowhere. That does not sound right. And in this fucking NFT industry, if it doesn't sound right, it probably fucking isn't. So the Space Apes team and I are working diligently to make sure that we have a foolproof strategy to avoid any kind of hacking. We definitely don't want to join the list of fucking NFT programs and, and projects that have been infiltrated. But one thing I did think was cool with the Barracks community, I mean... It seems like the community is there. Apparently, they gave an offer to everyone to change the mint price to compensate for all the money lost to raise the mint price. And apparently, the uh, or or to keep it the same. And apparently, the community chose to raise the mint price, which is that's actually that's actually cool. That's actually very cool. But we're gonna move on because that's literally all the information on barracks that I have. Divine Anarchy. So this is a project I haven't done that much research with, but. This is a project that I know Brett Walanowski, I think he is on YouTube. He's a big fan of this project. I like the art. I think their uh, their project's cool. I've done a little bit of research on them. Uh, not enough for me to want to get in unless I get the whitelist. But they also got hacked and had an announcement thing. And it's, it's just been a crazy world out there, guys. You want to make sure you're doubling up, making sure their Twitter has also come out with an announcement. One thing I've been talking to the Space Saves team about is making a domino effect type of announcement. Basically saying, hey, tomorrow at 4 p.m. there will be an announcement. And if it doesn't happen exactly at 4 o'clock, just pretend it's a scam because right now it's just that's just the reality we're in anyways on to lighter topics we have the ny the nyc nft event this is some type of thing kind of like the bitcoin thing that happened in miami i think and this is for all blockchain nft related shit it sounds fucking awesome literally anyone who's anyone in the space is there that's why i'm not there <laughs> um but yeah i mean it looks like fun i i don't i don't really know any information about it. it looks like a bunch of seminars it looks like a bunch of meet and greets you know you'll probably meet some of your favorite influencers there if you're there um i have no idea i think it'd be cool i have no idea if people who are going are going to dox themselves as their twitter handle or like what they're planning on doing but you know it might be interesting one thing i want to say in case i'm right here is if something happens at this NYC NFT event, if one of the co-founders of the founders of an NFT project does something crazy, we could see a pretty fucking massive NFT FOMO wave 
um, because there's a lot of eyes on here right now. There's a chance that one of the influencers or someone involved with the project does something crazy. So if there's a project you want to buy in the dip and you really, really believe in it, it might be a good time to do so before anything crazy happens at NYC NFT. It might be a smart idea to get in before any kind of crazy shit, if anything happens. And I, I really wouldn't be surprised if something happened. And it could be something outside of the event. It could be something totally unrelated, just using the, the news that it's like happening right now and then sending out a tweet. You know, it could be something as, it, it could be Elon Musk saying something crazy on Twitter. And the fact that that's happening at the same time as NFT NYC, something could happen. I'm just telling you to be aware. Next, we're going to move on to a little bit of strategy. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of Nansen AI. This is like basically insider trading information. Um, you get to see who's buying, how much they're buying, and all, all the things you want. Now, at the bottom of NFT Paradise is a page a lot of people like to use to see what people are buying and what people are minting. Now, listen, just because a notable buyer is minting a bunch of NFTs, you need to remember that they're playing a completely different game than you chances are. They've got money to blow. They're literally gambling. They are literally at the casino. If you don't have casino blowout kind of money, I'm talking thousands of dollars at your disposal, I would not really rely on this too much. Now, something you should rely on Nansen AI for is to see when a project that's already kind of happened when it goes through a dip to see if there's any notable buyers continuing to buy. And it looks like with Doodles, there are some notable buyers in and a project like Halloween Bears hasn't had nearly as much notable buyers. Doesn't always mean that it's not gonna do well or it is gonna do well. It's just something to note. So half the alpha is gonna be to use Nansen AI, but not to just listen to everything it says and just make a decision blindly. The second half of that alpha is to make sure you're watching these YouTube videos. And the third part is using my YouTube videos as a blueprint but not just to take anything i say and say okay well that's everything there is to do with the project make sure you do your own research and evaluate whether or not this is something that you want to invest in but you really have to evaluate your goals here is this is nfts for me a cash grab or am i looking to make generational wealth if you're choosing the latter you need to stick with me and subscribe to the channel because i'll be covering basically every single nft project that is anybody right now so save yourself a lot of time and research because i'm gonna do a lot of that shit for you as you can see i've covered uh the bio pills and apostles man i cover space punks club i cover galactic apes i've covered head dow and i'll be covering many many more i'm uploading one to three times a day right now and i do tend to make some dj calls just every now and then on my twitter i don't really do so on my youtube so much so if you want to follow me on twitter it's at Cade Bergman. I'm um, seeing a lot of explosive growth on YouTube and on Twitter recently, so thank you so much for that. But yeah, I mean, I do uh, I do make some calls. Some of them are really, really good, especially in NFT bull mania. I'm not going to go through them and prove myself, but if you want to go on my Twitter, you can find this tweet. Because during NFT mania, man, I usually have some extra liquidity because people are making money. And I will use some, a portion of my portfolio, at least, to fuck around and throw money at stuff and participate in some degenerate shit. But I'm talking 5 to 10% of my portfolio. 95% is shit that I believe in long term. And that's what this YouTube channel is, because everyone who's an influencer right now in the space is just making videos like, this coin, this project's gonna go to 100x tomorrow! Or like, you should, and it's just, they're all fucking the same. There's no other YouTube channel doing the content that we're doing here. I know that because I literally started making content because I couldn't find it. So now is the time to learn. Now is the time to educate yourself, to research, to get more comfortable in the space. It's not really time to be throwing money at mints right now because let's be honest, 10 out of 10 mints right now suck. You know, one out of every 50 right now is doing halfway decent. Now, speaking of new mints that have done well and maybe are gonna do well, I found this project by total accident when I was doing research for this project. It's called the OG Crystals. So I noticed this on Nansen when I was looking for another page. And I was like, holy shit, there's a lot of people minting and buying this project. Went there, shit ton of noble buyers. Um, and so I checked out their page. The floor is still 0.06. They got 2,000 Ethereum traded, 3,500 owners, or 3,800 owners, 10,000 items. They're already verified. So this is a project that already kind of started. But, and it's a very unique, interesting project. I haven't really seen too many projects like this. I'm not telling you to buy in. I haven't even bought in yet. I want to do more research before I, before I decide if I'm going to buy into this. But it definitely is interesting. So here's their website. It's some basically like 3D art nature shit. It's cool. It's very interesting. So when you when you acquire one through the mint, you receive a seed. So this is kind of too late for that. I just want to give you some background on this. But um, five days later, the seed will grow into the crystal, which is what you're seeing now. And uh, there's a lot of things that go into this project that make it really interesting to me that are very, that's very different than I've seen in other projects. So there's a lot of characteristics about these crystals that I've, I've never seen. For example, when the OG crystals pass on to someone else by sale, so if someone buys the NFT from you, something in it 
changes a little bit and it's based on a lot of different things including the collector's wallet's property so how much ETH you have what kind of projects you have how many projects you have when the crystal is sold for a second time another structure is added to the two previous ones with each transaction the potential for generating unusual and uncontrollable rare characteristics increases that's very interesting and after two months from the initial sale date or seven generations of sales every OG crystal will be locked no more changes basically so after two months or seven or seven tra uh, transactions it's done that's the final form so here's some things that affect the crystal and how it changes the wall ID transaction time block number transaction time and block number amount of past transactions the wall ETH balance NFTs art amount Ethereum balance dynamics and NFT amount dynamics. I have never seen anything like this. It's a literal game. It's a literal casino that keeps happening and happening and happening that I think will increase the value of this project. So as far as the roadmap, there's not too much here. It's, it's one of those art projects. So those are a little bit different than a lot of collector or collectible projects that I've seen, but they look like they want to break into a little bit of real world stuff. They have a little uh, offline event in New York. They want to do some 3D models. Uh, looks like they want to integrate some AR, some augmented reality. So that's pretty cool. I'm not quite sure what, what this means for the future. I'm just not well versed in this type of NFT yet. But these are the creators. So we have Michael Ju, a sculptor and multimedia artist. Looks like he's been, he's pretty well known in New York. I'm not going to bore you with all this shit, but basically he's been doing this stuff for a long time. Next we have Daniel Kid something, digital artist. Also based in New York City, a creative director and digital artist. And he's worked with companies like Apple, Nike, Intel, Boeing. And it looks like he has some experience working with blockchain and digital art and generative art. I like that they're both doxxed. So this is actually really interesting. So I had this question too. Can, I, can a crystal, an OG crystal grow without being sold? And it says they cannot. Initial purchase will receive the seed that forms the crystal after five days, but no extra growth will be done unless they're sold and resold and resold and resold like I was talking about. I don't know what this means. I don't know if this means that OG holders who never let it transform. I don't know if that's gonna be worth more. I don't know if it's gonna be cool. I don't know if there's gonna be more utility. There's just not enough information here. There's no way to get around like cheating this. You can't just transfer it to a wallet. You actually have to sell. But yeah, just a really interesting project. I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy it yet. Just thought I would let you guys know. I've been in the Discord a little bit. It looks like the people like it. Yeah, I don't hear, I don't see that many newbie looking people. I don't think newbies would be fucking with this kind of project because it's a little bit in unknown territory. But yeah, I know you guys wanted me to cover some projects that are kind of newer and happening right now. So I wanted to do that for you guys. I also wanna run, just run it by you. I've heard a lot of people talking about this with influencer projects and why maybe I've I've opted out of a lot of influencer projects. There's a lot of things you need to think about here. Just because they're an influencer, just because they made a lot of money does not know that does not mean they know how to run a business and especially not like a fucking hedge fund. Like Head Dow right now is being run by Shamdu, the 16-year-old kid. Obviously he's got more people on the team, but it's literally a hedge fund. You're buying really expensive assets to fractionalize and send back to people. There's a lot of moving parts here. You need to make sure whoever you're investing in, the team, that th you need to make sure they seem to be capable of running a fucking legitimate business, a legitimate company, a real company. You need, you need to remember also, these motherfuckers have money. If you made a 10,000 item NFT project and it's sold out, those devs and that team has a lot of money in their vault. So you really, really need to make sure that the influencers you're following know what they're doing. You need to make sure they've got some experience in this space. They're not scared to learn, to be humble and all that shit. So there's a lot of things that go into investing in projects, not just the hype. Because once the hype is over, what's left? So I'm going to run by these projects that I, that I mentioned earlier, BearX. Literally, there's nothing to go about. So I'm not even... There you go. That's it. I mean, look, we, we know the creators. They're like pseudo docs. There's almost no information here. No website, just literally a fuck ton of whitelist campaigns. It's annoying. Everyone knows it's annoying. They've got so much hype. I don't see another resolution other than another Mechaverse. And I don't even know if it's going to get that much hype. I feel like people are already tired of it. Like, I literally want to win the whitelist so I can just mint it and literally throw in the trash can. I'm so annoyed and I'm just over it. They've literally been campaigning forever. I know earlier I mentioned Divine Anarchy. We're just going to do a quick overview. So we got a couple. We got the creator pseudo doxed again we don't actually know who it is his name's asset vendor that's cool or whatever they've got a incredibly incredibly strong support look at this two and a half thousand likes one one point five thousand retweets that's insane um and a lot of their a lot of their engagement is is up in the hundreds hundreds it's uh it's a very very hyped project and you guys know how i feel when you start at the top there's only there's only down to go so that's the only thing that scares me about this project here's their website very fucking cool so as far as their roadmap They've really only just released like 
more and information of stuff they're gonna do. They've partnered up with the Doge Pound and Magic Mushroom Clubhouse, which is the Brettways project. That's pretty cool. I do like that they partnered with the Doge Pound. You guys know I'm a big supporter of their project. And that's pretty much all they have for the roadmap. Not, not too much. I assume there's gonna be some kind of game and as I've said before, I don't mind projects not having a crazy detailed roadmap, but it is kind of weird that there is like literally nothing here. So maybe I need to rewatch Brett's video and see if I missed something. But anyways, here's a project I called out on my Twitter when they had literally 150 followers. They're at 1300 right now. Um, it's it's another like whitelist bear X, bear X type of thing, except this one gives me better vibes. I feel like this one actually might do well. There's only 999 in this Genesis launch. The whitelist for this is just so ridiculous. I caught the first whitelist. Uh, announcement i ended up literally not getting in i called it out for my discord and like everyone except me got in <laughs> so again if you want to follow me on twitter it's at Cade Bergman. i do i all my degenerate shit happens on twitter none of it happens on my youtube anyways as promised here's the five projects i'm bullish on long term that you probably haven't heard of a couple you might have if you've been watching all my videos first i have the impact theory founders key this is tom bilia's nft very much like a gary v v friends um I have a lot of faith in the Impact Theory company and brand, and I have even more faith in Tom. You guys already know Space Safe. I don't even need to talk about it. I'm a fan of the Magic Mushroom Clubhouse. I like Brett. I think he's got a lot of connections in this space. He's doing a great job, and he's got something completely different that I have not seen in any other projects. They're doing a ridiculously intricate gameplay to introduce extra NFTs to increase value of other projects. And I see cool things with the Magic Mushroom Clubhouse. They also have a lot of things where they have like whitelist launchpad stuff. So they're on board with a lot of other projects, including Divine Anarchy. So if you're if you're a Magic Mushroom holder, you get automatically inducted into a special whitelist competition. Um, I think there's 300 spots Brett's giving away. I'm gonna be holding this project mainly for access. So if you're a longtime viewer of my kind of stuff, you guys know I'm a big fan of Eververse. I really like them. Here's my Celestial, one of the top rares. It's one of my, I love this project. I think it's gonna do very well long-term. They've actually got a working game. They're just working on partnering up with another company because as you guys know, Steam ended up rejecting all NFT projects. So they're already in there. It's a full ass working game. It's a great project. I think it's slept on. I think it's incredibly underpriced. And last but not least, we have the bio pills. If you haven't seen the in-depth breakdown I made, go ahead and click in the, I'll leave a link in the description. I just made it. The mint should be tomorrow. And I think if this video goes out in time. So the bio pills, um, there's a lot of shit in there that this, this project, this project. Remember the Mutinate Serum that sold for exorbitant amounts of money because everyone used their serum except for a few people to mint and like get a, a Mutant Ape? The people that held their serum were able to make so much money and the bio pills is literally that except way more extra utility and you should do the research. You should watch that video. That is absolutely financial advice. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed yourself, you learned something new, make sure you let me know by smashing that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed already, join the voyage, guys. I don't know what you're waiting on. I'm covering projects every single day for you guys. It's my favorite thing to do. So if you want to see more of me right now, go ahead and click on these boxes on the other side of me. And until then, endure, persist, and be grateful you're here watching this video.